treasure. Since the very first human, we have longed for shiny things. It's in our blood to seek out riches and glory. It's such a drive for us that we are willing to venture into very dangerous lands. Going up against seemingly impossible odds, there is one place that humans go in the modern day, and that place is exile. A mysterious island full of these perils and dangers. Do you have what it takes to conquer and obtain these artifacts? Something, something, adventure, something, something, epic, huh. wow. I'm Seems, uh, pretty interesting. This commercial. <laughs> Hello, sir. I'm a representative for the Adventurer's Guild, Grail. You've been selected among others to be sent to exile. Care to participate? Uh, I don't know. It seems a bit dangerous and all. Plus, I have to watch my dog and stuff, and, you know, it's just like, uh, it seems a bit of a hassle. Are you sure? We offer great health insurance and other benefits. Okay, I'm in. Where do I sign? So, I was invited to my first ever digital preview event along with some other YouTubers such as Levelcap, Wildcat, Nogla, Marksman, and many other notable content creators to try out this brand new game coming out. Hawked. This is also my first secret from you, my dear Keltown residents. Since I was under NDA, I hope you forgive me. But now I'm finally free to talk about it. Naturally, that means that this video is sponsored by my girl Cynthia here. Oh, hello? Oh, this game, this game's awesome. I like this game. This game's pretty good. This has been such an awesome experience. You're done, buddy! <laughs> and I never would have had the opportunity to try out this game or meet these people without your support, so I massively appreciate it. Anyways, on to the most important question. What exactly is Hawked? I'm going for you. No, I don't want to finish this guy. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Hawked is a brand new PvPVE extraction shooter for the grand price of free. I have nothing left. It's a big mix of tense gunfights, platforming, puzzles, fighting monsters, and avoiding traps that have no remorse. Whoa, 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 that looks dangerous. Oh, he just keeps on going off. Wow. Yeah, man, they got good trap technology on this island. Yeah, these guys definitely watched a bunch of redstone tutorials on YouTube. If that sounds pretty cool to you, well, hop in the whip, bitch, because you're joining the Adventurer's Guild. Grail. I hope you also have a helmet, because the base is also underwater. Also, keep in mind that this game is still in development, so there are still some rough edges here and there. You know, them pesky wrinkles to iron out. But the core of what this game is, I think it's solid. You become a renegade, a treasure-hunting mercenary with only one thing on your mind. Those delicious, sweet golden artifacts. You're not no ordinary mercenary either, okay? You also apparently have an Olympic gold medal in gymnastics, because your character can't help but just look fucking rad all the time. Good job. <laughs> backflip. This is how I'll be moving for the rest of the game. These artifacts you compete for aren't just for show, however, as they are actually gameplay items that can grant you extra abilities, such as giving you a headshot shield, highlighting enemy footsteps, or even turning you into a bush. I'm right behind him. Oh, wait. Oh, you're over there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> he has He's no on. idea. Oh, um, uh, oh. All right, maybe I should stick to photosynthesis. The island is littered with hazards and enemies to prevent you from achieving that glory. Oh, that, oh God, I was not expecting that to move. We'll talk more about that later though, because guess what? You ain't the only person waking up to get this bread, all right? Even though you may be buddies at your home base, perhaps even more. Yeah, that gets thrown out the window when you're on the island. Here, it's your team against the world, baby. Okay, coming over for the revive. Thank you. <laughs> She's like patting my ass. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm like, they're there, buddy. Yeah, thank you for they're that <laughs> for that pep talk. If someone stands in front of you and your treasure, well, they're about to do a backflip into the grave. The combat in Hawked is actually pretty fun, with a very wide range of different kinds of weapons, ammo types, elemental effects, and even melee combat. Which was something I was not expecting, honestly. Oh, doing little spins. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> Out here looking like the Star Wars kid, bro. My personal favorite part of the game, though, are the gears. 
They are essentially hero abilities, except they aren't locked to specific characters like you usually see. Here, it's all about the customization, dude. Just a side note, God, I appreciate playing as a character that you create. Jesse! I feel too many games nowadays really force the heroes and operators thing down people's throats with lore that nobody cares about. So it's nice to play as a person you make. Anyways, these gears have a very wide range, from buffs such as a speed boost, halting all stamina costs so you can run to your heart's content, or my go-to, this jelly wall thing. Look, I don't know what grandma put in her jello recipe, but apparently it was iron sand. What did they just throw? Oh, that's a grenade. Oh, I think I blocked it. Man. <laughs> These food GMOs are really getting out of hand. This system allows for you to essentially have different builds. Do you want to sit back with a sniper, sending out this bird thing to scan enemies for your allies? Do you want to just charge in and rush with speed and mobility? Oh, that's a cute wall. Oh, that's a cool ability. Yeah. Watch this, I'm about to teleport behind this guy. <laughs> you looking at my after image, dude. Got one. Nice. Do you want to be your team's defenses with support and healing abilities? You can do pretty much all of that. So your team is whatever you want it to be. Oh, and the gear is also upgradable too, so you can really define your playstyle. This keeps you guessing every gunfight, since usually you don't know what other teams have in their back pocket. If you are keen enough though, People do wear their equipment on their bodies, so you can prepare a little bit if you spot it. Other renegades aren't the only thing you gotta watch out for though. Exile is filled with a species of lizard dudes, nicknamed Disciples. Now at first, I thought these guys were like, native to the island. They're just vibing, look at them. They're kinda cute. And I was like, damn. We really out here clapping these dudes and taking their stuff. But that's actually not the case, in fact, because... They actually already did that. These disciples wiped out the island natives and took it for themselves. They stole candy from a baby. So now you're going to take that candy from the bigger baby. These guys are mixed with short range to long range enemies. And if they get up on you, they will beat your ass. So be careful. There are also these moving caravans roaming the map, which is essentially like a boss battle. Dude, this guy's hawking loogies at me like a middle school bully. They got disciples on their back throwing stuff at you, but luckily they never played sports in high school because they can't throw to save their lives. While fighting these guys, you need to be on the watch for anything that the island natives have set up to take you out. Traps are a big part of this game. Do not underestimate them. Yep, they're right here. Oh! Okay, that was a trap. Oh, is that a trap? Yeah, that was a trap. The island and story will continue to evolve as time goes on, with your usual limited time events and seasons. I'm already looking forward to how they keep expanding the dungeon crawling aspect of the game, because I really think that's a big selling point here. Wait, is there? Oh, I almost got darted from the wall. Puzzles and platforming is a big part of Hawked, and is the thing that really made it stand out. This isn't just a game about who is better, because your sick aim won't mean jack when darts shoot out from the wall to perform acupuncture on you. It just adds to that adventure, uh, dungeon crawling vibe, and I dig it heavily. These puzzles are all simple and fun too, from fun memory games, to solving patterns, to just timed shots. Nice. You aren't gonna be solving some trigonometry BS, all right? Trying to find the circumference of the island or some shit. Completing these puzzles ultimately gives you the passcode to enter into the main treasury, which houses the artifact you're supposed to extract. Unless you're Wildcat and you just fucking guess the correct code. Here we go. All right, we're just guessing or no? No, no, we cannot guess. We're going this way. What do you mean we cannot guess? No, he got it. He got it. Prove your idiot. vast intelligence to me now. All right, so clearly it is. Hold on. Day two. I'm right there. Or one more away. Day three. Bottom one. Okay, maybe it's not that one. <laughs> we can do this. I have enough ammo. Yeah. <laughs> Day four. No, oh! Oh my god, he got it! God, he <laughs> solved it. I solved the glyph puzzle without wait, there's no artifact in here. Side note, you can also get relics by defeating the caravan bosses, which is also a cool metagame you can do on the side. You take these relics and then take them to extraction zones. Honestly, I thought it was fun chasing down enemy teams who got the relic first. The game has a mounting mechanic where in water you can get on this cool surfboard thing. You know, hit some waves. Yeah, dude. At one point, a team got a relic, and Level Cap and I were in this like five minute intense surfboard chase scene trying to tail these guys, and it was just dope. Yeah. All right, trying to cut off another so team just beelining it for an extraction zone is immensely satisfying. Stop resisting. Stand down. I'm gonna try and cut him off with the board. Here we go. Oh, 
have a little jello wall. Screw the jello wall, man. Oh, yeah, nice! Yeah. Nice! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff, dude. That was a nice. That was a nice pick. The chases in this are actually really fun. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> Now, after seeing all of this, you may be wondering, well, Kelski, when can I do sick backflips on the island? Hawked is actually going into open beta on August 3rd. Only for PC right now, but it will have crossplay open beta between PC and PlayStation soon. It's totally free, of course, and the beta will also include a free battle pass with rewards that will carry over into the full game. You can even pre download it right now. Yeah, dude. This is happening. The download link will be in the description below, so get on it. Overall, the gameplay of Hawked looks incredibly promising. You got killed by a trap? Oh no, you hurt me a lot. On me! Oh, oh! Oh my, oh my god, god, they, they just, just jumped you! <laughs> Dude, they just beat me down! Who are these people? They're insane! I personally think that the PvPVE extraction shooter genre hasn't been explored nearly enough. And this take on it is something that just scratches some itch. I absolutely dig the traps and platforming mechanics. I love when games have more going on than just wipe out the other team. So I'm looking forward to see what they do with this. Now, what do I personally rate the Hawked preview? 10 out of 10 for no particular reason.